now. Only on 11 Alive, there is YouTube video making the rounds on social media showing a Metro Atlanta man's interaction with Clayton County Police. Tonight, we are walking you through the ring doorbell footage and the police body camera video that has raised so many questions. 11 Alive's Don White is hearing from both the police and the man involved. She joins us live from Jonesboro with the very latest. Don. Ron and Jennifer, Clayton County Police had a press conference today where they said they believe that what happened in that video is within their policy. But at the same time, the man in that video says he is shaken and he plans to move far away from Clayton County. Who car is this? Clayton County Police released this body camera footage of a December 15th interaction with the man standing by a vehicle investigators believed was connected to a crime. I told them. It's not my vehicle. I don't know whose vehicle it is. Eugene Johnson says he's the man in the video and went outside to get his friend's dog. I was attending a housewarming or you know, a gathering at a friend's house. The man would refuse to identify himself or provide any information, but kept going to the front door, at which time on the video that has been released, you can see in here where code is being punched repeatedly trying to get in the door. Eugene says he had permission to be at his friend's house. Because again, if you go in the house, you're going to jail. Both of y'all. Why? For what? Like Obstruction. Said, this now viral ring doorbell video shows what happens next. The female officer told me I can go in, and as soon as she told me I can go in, the door opened, and that's when he grabbed me by my neck. In the body camera footage, though, you can't hear the female officer, only the male officer, trying to keep him outside. <laughs> My brother, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Police say Eugene hit his head on the door during the struggle. This healing now is like, what, 17 days later? This may leave you wondering, what are your rights if you find yourself in a similar situation? One, know your rights. Uh, two, remain silent. And three, ask for an attorney. Civil rights lawyer Gerald Griggs says he still has questions after seeing the body camera video. It appeared as though this civilian was unrelated to anything that they were investigating and that they attempted to detain him and question him. And of course, that uh, brings in his Fourth Amendment rights against unreasonable searches and seizures and also his Fifth Amendment right uh, to remain silent. Many people have asked on social media, do you have to give your name and cooperate with the investigation? There's some case law that says he does have to give his identification, but he absolutely has a right to refuse questioning. Eugene and the woman in the video currently do not face any charges. Police are conducting an internal review, which is typical anytime force is used.